Lord, to be in your presence today. And Lord, times like these, we need wisdom. And Lord, we're grateful that we can go to a God that knows the beginning from the end. Lord, that's been through all things and has seen all things. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, liberty, liberty and justice for all. The audience will be seated. In an effort to avert civil war and have a last chance for peace, the Virginia legislature called a national convention of states to discuss a constitutional amendment regarding slavery. They gathered at Willard's Hotel and Concert Center in Washington. Almost all the states still in the union attended. The debate was vigorous, emotions strong, but throughout the convention there was no deviation from the subject for which it was called. Each state had an equal voice, and the individual delegates adhered to the specific instructions given to them in their appointment. An amendment regarding slavery was recommended to Congress, but it was too late. The Civil War started shortly after the convention adjourned. It was the last national convention of states until today. On behalf of the Arizona Senate, I want to welcome you to not only Arizona, but to history. It has been more than 150 years since a convention of states. So today's gathering is long overdue. And our issue, a balanced budget amendment, is likely the most important topic we could be considering. As Speaker Mesnard mentioned, I'm going to repeat it. I think it's worth repeating. In 1789, Thomas Jefferson said these words. I wish it were possible to obtain a single amendment taking from the federal government the power of borrowing. In 1994, Ronald Reagan spoke after Congress failed to act on a congressional amendment. And he wrote, we can't depend on Congress to discipline itself. It is clear that we must rely on the states to force Congress to act on our amendment. Fortunately, we are not here to write language for a proposed amendment. That will be the exclusive mandate of those commissioners selected together at a future date when, according to the language of Article 5 of the Constitution, Congress is required to call a convention of states having received applications in the form of resolutions from two-thirds of the states. That will officially trigger what most appropriately is called an Article 5 convention or convention for proposing amendments. Regarding committees, number one, Arizona's temporary rules provide for the following committees. Rules Committee, Convention Planning Committee, subcommittees created by the Convention Planning Committee as needed, and the Credentials Committee. Michigan, sending one commission delegate. Minnesota, sending five commission delegates. Missouri, sending one commission delegate. New Hampshire, sending seven commission delegates. Oklahoma. It is uh, Romans. Chapter 15, verse 13 and 14, where Paul says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Recommendation number two is, in anticipation of the possible call for a convention for proposing amendments, states are strongly encouraged to take up delegates, selection, legislation at the earliest time. But if the, if the people of the state are not going to support that. Um, that legislative body is, is, there's not much they can do. Missouri. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Oklahoma. Here. South Carolina. Here. South Dakota. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Create a process to suggest a time and place to Congress for a convention for proposing amendments. You know, I guess it works. Is it, we could we could clean that up. Let's create a process to suggest a time and place to Congress 
create a process to suggest to Congress Let's for uh, just for a convention proposal of between conventions. What if we what if we take the <clears> suggest <throat> to because that's what we're doing? We're suggesting to Congress to do this. So create a process to suggest. There you to go. Congress. Yes. Yeah. So shall I proceed? Please proceed. All right. Thank you, Madam Chair. I understand what South Carolina is trying to do here, but I would just like to draw attention, uh, the body, to page 13, where this was already discussed in the Rules Committee, and our rules, actually, convention rules, will actually trump Mason's rules. They will be first, and then you will default to Mason's. Okay. Amendment. Division has been called. All those in favor, please stand. One person per state. If you are not that person, please remain sitting. Those in favor of adopting the South Carolina Amendment are standing. All right, please be seated, and all those opposed, please stand. The motion has failed a six I ten nay committee chair of said committee to announce the completion of the convention's work and make a motion. You have heard the motion. All those in favor of vote aye. aye. All those opposed vote no. Appears the ayes have it. So have it. We are adjourned.